it started. Uh, okay. Give it a second to start up. Uh, uh. Okay, welcome to another exciting, awesome week of Libwood Initiative. Um, we're going to continue tonight's session. Uh, tonight's intro has already been decided. Um, it is Ruya. Um, so go ahead and give us the recap of last week episode. And I see you in the general chat, T Dog. <laughs> Bad. Music song but. reference. That's good. Ah, right. Remember what's happening. Yeah, so. The group all went on the. Trying to think. Quest to look for the uncle of. What's the people's names? Was it Domar, Bomar? Like that? Oh, That's Bill Mar okay. and Bomar. Yeah. Bomar 2.0. Those people went to find the uncle. He went missing on a, apparently a trip back to the t back to the test. Uh, to the test, yeah. That was the uh, I think. Long story short, because it was a super long session, uh, went to um, Frog was it Frogmere where uh, they thought he was coming from originally. Uh, Ruby did not gain access because Drow's not allowed. That's always fun. And they found that yeah he left was it he left I think from the iron shell was it? The what? And then the iron shell like some people left with him. Yeah, he was being guarded and escorted by Iron Shell members. Yeah. Which are a defensive group of Throgramir. Yeah. Yes. So, after figuring out that he left with, a, left with a group and started heading back, the group started to make their own way back to the test just to see if they could, just see if they could find him back on the road in case they missed him. Uh, and during camp, they saw what looked to have been at least one person hiding behind the trees, and they heard some some flapping going around the camp itself. But they couldn't what that was exactly till later on, when they discovered it was a there was a black dragon and a bunch of black was a black dragon kobold cultist like cultist. Uh, yes, there was black dragon. Yeah. Black. Cultists, yes. That were formed of the kobolds that you guys, some of the kobolds that the party had originally faced when first arriving at Elois and an unknown black dragon lord. And they actually held the uncle captive in a cage. And so, so I was trying to figure out how to rescue him. A big battle ensued. Fortunately, Cletus got turned into an acid puddle. Rest in peace. We will miss you. And the rip, uncle... Rip, rip, rip. Yep. Cletus is now steak puddle. <laughs> and the uncle was seeing that... The dragon was seeing that we were trying to go for the uncle, decided to kill off him with, by sticking his... Was it, was it claw or tail? Either way, he's got a pole in his chest. And he ended up dying, so the quest itself, in terms of returning safely, was a failure. The two brothers have taken their now uncle's corpse back to the test, and the party is just standing over this puddle that was once wonderful Cletus, crying their eyes out and being in shock from the whole thing. <laughs> Rest in peace. Okay. Um... <laughs> And, story short. Yeah. Um, and we <laughs> find ourselves with the uh, Onyx Circle currently standing over the puddle which was once their old ally and friend. Um, as Daylock is currently being held um, by Ruria. I mean, Ruria, sorry. Um, Nat and. Uh, 
throw this. Sorry, my stuff is loading. I accidentally backed out. Um. And take it away. Kyle is just kind of standing there, uh, staring at the puddle for a moment. And, like, for what him seems like almost like an eternity. And then he, uh, turns around. And he kind of walks over to Sin for a moment. Sin. Uh, yeah. What do you need for that? Is there, um, a, he's like trying to find the words for it. And then he's like, um, was there anything that looked like it was, uh, missing? Do we know what the dragon took? Well, um, brothers took everything, but, um, I could have sworn there were two crystals on the table but I don't know he could have knocked one off I it's you know the brothers came over they grabbed everything I, I mean that's the only thing I saw missing but I, I don't know he could grab something else he has some pretty big okay and Conrad actually um I assume the bodies are still there of the cobalt, right? They're just not on the map currently. Yep. He's going to walk. And uh, where's the mother's spot? If I... Okay. He's going to go over there and he's going to cut off her head. The head's already gone. Oh, it's already dead? Like, gone? Yeah. Nat literally exploded it. Fuck, never mind. <laughs> when, she, when she punched her. Yeah. <laughs> and then Conrad's gonna actually motion Sin to come over here for a second. He sighs and walks over. So, in regards to the cobalts, these are definitely the ones that we, uh, uh, you know, let go, right? He kind of looks over his shoulder to the one that was is laying over here. He says, "I mean, look at him." Uh, Kyra can clearly see him, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. And it's definitely someone, the one he recognized? Yeah, you recognize, uh, the, the one that's currently behind him on his shoulder is one of the kids who was holding a knife and attacked you guys. <sighs> Kyra just kind of sighs. Same scale pattern, and he had this one kind of birthmark on his shoulder. Gotcha. Um, or some type of scarring, and yeah, it's like, yeah. Kyra just kind of like holds his face for a second and like, you know, it's kind of like, you know, he's just trying to, he's trying to regain his composure. He's like, so should we bring some sort of proof or something? I imagine Welton would want to know about this. Well, I mean, they grabbed all the documents, rightfully so. I mean, uh, the Cobalt's death. I mean, what do you want? You want to cut off their feet, their ears? I mean, some of them are missing their feet and their ears, so. Alright. Never mind then. He just kind of walks back. <laughs> come on, come on, Sin. Bring it in. <laughs> he walks to the opposite side. Yeah. <sighs> huh? Yeah. Can't blame a woman for trying. <laughs> yes, yes, I can. Yeah. <laughs> Daylight. 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 Daylight is still there, just isn't falling still. He's calming down a little bit, but he's still crying. No, oh, it's okay. It's okay, Daylight. It's okay. <laughs> I, I wasn't there for him. He was right there. I, 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 I. We're, you know, we're, we're gonna get back at that dragon. We're, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna bury him. But not not right now, Daylock. We just need to, you know, regain our composure. Think about some things. But the next time we see him, he better watch out. <laughs> like, uh, 
<laughs> it's like a mix of sad and angry at the same time. Uh, they... Yeah. Uh, Coward's gonna check the bodies of the cobalt, see if there's anything on them. Okay. You mean perception check? Yep. Okay. Um, you begin rifling through all the Cobalt Dragonborn's bodies. You go through their clothes, their weapons. You just give them an overall search while there's whimpering and crying go going off behind. Mm -hmm. Um, it takes a while. Um, but um, you find in total seven gold, mm -hmm. five silver. And 20 copper among all the bodies. That's it? As far as gold. Right. Um, there are all of the weapons that the kobolds had, which um, are significantly better than when you first ran into the kobolds, but they're still very, very basic. Um, mm -hmm. The mother did have a, uh, a wand. Mm hmm. Um, that she kept pulling out to cast some of her things. And uh, the Dragonborn does have a pretty fancy looking long sword. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Uh, so Kyra will get those two things and he says, uh, I don't see anything that seems to be anything that kind of tell what they were planning. I was going to say, just going to uh, stand up at this point. She's been crying. She's been apologizing and praying to the Raven Queen for this whole time. But she's going to get up, kind of pat herself on the cheeks, still looking down at the ground. She's not facing anyone at the moment. But she's going to walk past Daylock, pat him on the shoulder gently and not say a word and continue walking along to the trees and... I want to look for some ra like feathers or raven feathers in particular. I don't know if there's like, if I can tell if there's any nests nearby or any. Give me a nature check. Uh, I can, if I can move my fin down. Nature, nature, nature. <coughs> <coughs> um, you begin looking around, but then you also notice that this area has been kind of warped by the dragon a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> over here, where the acid burns still remain, the knocked over tree, you look around at all this, and you think that if there is a raven, they probably fled this area. Yeah. But there's no, like, any feathers just scattering around. Nothing. No. There's no... After the Dan Dakis, if she hasn't found anything, she'll just walk back even probably a bit sadder than before and, like, start saying prayers to the Raven Queen, like, probably that Cleet says, Sol's going to be guided to his new life, like, in the beyond or whatever. St basically do the whole, like, funeral thing what she can used to do at home. Give me a religion check. Okay. You say your uh, prayer to the Raven Queen. You offer your prayer in hopes that his soul may find guidance um, through her realm safely and onto the afterlife that awaits. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, David, how much was the money again, by the way? Seven gold. Okay. Gotcha. Alright. Did you need the rest? No, not really. Okay. Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> You say the rest, or <laughs> oh, I I didn't hear you respond to that. Um, I 
believe it was six silver and <coughs> forty copper. Okay. Number I made up on the spot. Yeah, mm. no, Ruby's just not looking at anyone. She's just staring at the ground. <laughs> yeah, these kobolds do not have a lot. Um, they do have a lot of, like, side stuff, but it's all related to, like, their black dragon iconography, things like that. Um, you get the sense that they're not really, ha they don't really have a society, they probably don't trade, they're just straight to the point. Yeah, so there's, like, yeah, okay, so there's no intelligence or anything like that, nothing like... Well, I mean, there is intelligence, but it's all devoted towards one thing. Okay. Like, is there any sign that would might, might say the dragon... His name. Um, nothing you can see. Okay. Nat's like extending an arm out to Conrad, like, you want in? <laughs> kind of like a you want in kind of thing. <laughs> oh, like to the hug? Yeah. <laughs> he's just kind of still looking at the puddle at the moment. He just kind of waves you off. <laughs> she nods and holds hold the precious boy. Alright, it begins to stop. Yeah. How you feeling, Daylock? Exactly as one would expect, I suppose. Kinda wipes away its tears a little bit. Um kinda grabs his holy symbol, closes his eyes for a few moments. And then he opens his eyes. Well, if it's all the same to you, I would I would like to leave now. We should go, yeah. Yeah, so how much more we can do here? Sin walks over, pulls out, reaches into his robes, it pulls out a vial, and scoops them a puddle. Corks it and puts it back in his jacket. And I guess Conrad just starts heading back. You just start walking away? Yep. Oh, Con Conrad. Dame Sarah looks over his shoulder as you're walking away. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I guess well, we're heading back? Well, Con no, Conrad will turn like, when Dame Sarah says that. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know. Might want to wait for everyone else. Let us know or something. Like just, you know. Sorry, I'm yeah. just. I know, but you gotta be there for, for people. Last game of Davis series, a few pets. Pat, pat, pat. Yeah. Uh, give me insight. Who? As you're walking up. Like, you, oh. as you're walking up and heading him. He seems to be holding back a lot. Let it out, buddy. Let like I try to like jump, like do like a jump for the neck, like for like a hug, but I'm like incredibly short, so I'm trying to jump for it. Like, um, give me an athletics check. Yay! Something I can do for once. <laughs> athletics. <laughs> Okay, you jump up, you wrap your arms around the thick tree trunk of a neck, and you are now dangling a couple feet off. <laughs> Ready? He just kind of stares down at you, just straight faced. Grabs both your hands, picks, unlocks them, picks you up with one arm, and just sets you back down. Oh, hands dangling up there. Yeah, Sarries. He just kind of gives you a like a half smile and nods at you. I know he meant a lot to you, Damon Series. But she does, like, you know, she does smile back at him. 
names fairies looks from. Uh, so shall we return? Sin walks over. He's like, yeah, give me ten minutes. Might as well take that time to rest. Sin looks over. He's like, yeah, you guys should probably rest. I sit on the tree over here. Yeah, yeah Carl is going to sit over the tree over there, but he's going to face the opposite direction. Daylock is staring at this tree. Is she screwed up? In fact, no, she'll stay next to Damon Series for now and just sit there quietly. Again, she's not looking at anyone, she's just looking at the ground. And you so all. Like, Go ahead. And I was just going to say, I was going to like just pat Damon Series on the side, just pan him. <laughs> he just kind of stands there. He's kind of <laughs> looking over everyone right now. Yeah. <laughs> Sin begins to um, start getting out his components. He starts setting up the ritual, uh, ritual, um, and he begins muttering an ancient arcane language. <coughs> As you all sit in silent contemplation after ten minutes, you guys see a very familiar sight. As all like a, as a cloud begins to form in front of him um, even the sizzling ooze pile that was once Cletus all that steam even gathers events and with a quick flash they all return to spectral horse form or they don't return they uh, they uh, come together to form the spectral horses again mm. so it looks at the group okay uh Giddy up, I guess. Kairos gets on one of the horses. That does too. Daylock and Dave Misseries and Sin all get on theirs. You're just going to say, like, one last prayer and then get on. <laughs> Hi ho, silver away. That says nothing. Yeah, Kyra says nothing as well. <laughs> yeah, nothing. <laughs> okay, tally ho then. And Sin just looks forward and your guys' uh, horses all begin to move forward. Mm -hmm. They start heading directly west. Um, Makes it over to the lake area. Mm -hmm. And uh, you guys begin to make your way across the lake by water. Okay. Um, Nat. <laughs> you feel really tired. Sore, achy. Man, please, this death must have really taken it out of you. Yeah, she she's remembering when they when they both looked out into the lake. Yeah. She's like. Hmm. This loss, it just makes you remember, you know, why you came here in the first place. And you begin to think of, you know what you think of. Okay. Low ire. If, if you weren't catching. I, I, I figured. Okay. Um, but you guys make your way through. Um, eventually, um, the day begins to pass, turns to evening. Um, you guys are still a little bit away from the test. Um, you guys have made it across the lake, through the woods, and you guys are in the open field um, that goes towards the test, and it is about nightfall. Uh, sorry, bud. Go ahead. I was just gonna say, Carl would look for a suitable spot to set up gap. So, Conrad just begins to break away from the group and just starts wandering off. Uh, 
I assume that's how it roll, right? Sorry. <laughs> um, Gaylock. Uh, it's Conrad, Sir Conrad. Uh, you're going the wrong way. I'm just finding a spot for us to rest up. Oh, okay. Um, of course. And then looks over his shoulders. So you guys uh, want to rest then? Unless we want to continue on. I I just feel very tired. It's uh, she's like rub, like rubbing her forehead. It's, yeah, yeah. Um, luckily, okay. these horses you guys really don't have to steer or anything too much. So, for the most part, you guys have just kind of been mind blank since leaving the lake. Out of character. Where are we at this point? Like right? Are you so? Yeah. Okay. So Conrad points out the spot. Oh, sorry, never mind. Um, and I mean, as far as spots go, it's a giant open field. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, not really spots. There. Uh, you guys are kind of on the road right now, so... I mean, you either can stay towards the road or just leave the road. Bite your options right now. That's a good rest. Clear our heads. I think that's probably a good idea. Sin nods. Oh, okay. And he... Um, uh, why can't I think of what that is? He snaps his fingers and all of your guys' horses disappear. Mm -hmm. Give me athletic or acrobatics checks, everyone. Well, Kyra was off as far as I thought because he, you know, when looked for. I choose to fail. <laughs> Nat. Nat just falls to the ground. Um, most of you guys. I'm still waiting on Conrad because. Sorry. Went on your horse to check. Okay, um, I wasn't sure. I mean, yeah, most of you guys are fine. Uh, Nat's the only one who really falls on her butt. She seems unfazed by it. But you do take one damage, so you're kind of... That was the only damage I took that fight. Actually, yeah, Kind of. Mostly. You will go and just help Nat back up. <laughs> she accepts the help. Says, Thanks. Just a quiet nod. <laughs> And you guys begin to. Uh, you guys gonna stay on the road or stay? Get off of it. Mm. So the uh, comrade, like you know, there was like no actual spot where he found it. It was just kind of. It's the plane. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was just to get off the road a little bit. Famous area nods and just starts going kind of directly north off the road. Same. Follows. Follow. As the party begins a slow saunter forward, you guys walk a good five or ten minutes off the road and Sarah's like just kind of sets his bag down and starts pulling out of this bed roll. Same. Kyle just gets ready. Same. Rest of you. Okay. Yeah. Just uh, getting ready. Okay. okay. You guys slowly and quietly begin to set up your guys' evening. Uh, go ahead and write off a food ration. Mm -hmm. And some wah wah. Oh, that reminds me of alcohol. It is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, before it was that, um, Fuck. okay, am I drinking all of this fire wine or 
happen. I, just, enough to die, just enough to die crunch her first, not enough to get drunk. Uh, well, you're going to get dehydrated, yeah, right? It's, <laughs> it's not really... You smell it, and it's like jet fuel. Um, yeah. So, I mean, you could drink it, but um, it's pretty strong smelling. So, has Ruby told anyone that she's out of water? No. No. Okay. no. Never mind. Yeah. No, she's just gonna look at it, have a sniff, take a mouthful, and that's it. <laughs> okay. Just like reluctantly taking a mouthful. <laughs> okay, give me an endurance check. Uh, now, also pulls out her flash. <laughs> And she's like, I'll drink to that, sister. <laughs> well, funny enough, you guys are setting up your camp, and Rhea pulls out her water skin, takes a swig off of it, and immediately starts coughing horribly bad. Oh. You okay, Rhea? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, choking. Uh, I'm good. My okay, she's just going to fake the whole not, be not being good. Uh, and as soon as you say you're good, and you're like, finish reeling, and you begin to sit back up, you are now drunk. Yeah, how's it doing? Insight on that? Yeah. Just goes. Yeah, insight. I was gonna say, do I need to bluff any of that? <laughs> um. Because I was like. It's, yeah, it's the. Uh, hmm. No, it's pretty obvious. The uh, coughing. Okay. And you begin to sway. Fair enough. Fair enough. Do we know she's drunk? She's a little. She's acting a little strange. Did so something and now one Did... of her eyes is kind of drooping a little bit more than the other one, and she's kind of like a sway to her. Did someone so, do guess though? Yeah. Yeah. Nat, yeah. Nat says, "Did someone do something to your water, Maria?" You just like piled up the drink. Handed out, but not handed out, just hold it towards now. <laughs> just like, eh. Now try some. <laughs> Give me an endurance check. No regrets. No regrets. <laughs> and it's like, as that's drinking, I was like, yeah, the draw, the draw from my brothers, they gave me this. Now you begin to cough, and as you reel back from the cough, um, you realize that you are drunk and you guys watch as Nat staggers a little bit and goes head first into the ground. That's not what <laughs> I was gonna say gonna make a flimsy attempt at trying to make a like not full flap. <laughs> no. Exposing oh. not you. Damn it. I try. Uh I like, She's hit the ground and you reach your arms out like uh eh. <laughs> <laughs> Coward's gonna go check on her too. Okay. Give me a heal check. Okay. How's she? I don't know. Okay, there we go. Um, <laughs> she's breathing. You've seen her drunk before. As so if she's, she's drunk, just, yeah. Passed out. As soon as you get close, you can smell the alcohol in her. Um, and you can also smell the alcohol pouring out of the wine skin that is now on it. She now it's in a, the water skin, real quick. The okay. you know, alcohol pump. He's going to hold it for a second and he's, he's going to tuck now. He's going to do what? He's going to put her back in her tent or whatever. Okay. Yeah, you, uh, you finish uh, getting her in and her getting her in the tent she's all rust she's all bedded down for the evening and Kara just throws the uh, the alcohol filled water skin back at Roya it smacks her in the face and falls on the ground <laughs> can't pick up thanks thanks just clumsy picks it back up sticks in the bag <laughs> I take you a few tries yeah it would take me a few tries Go to bed. Kyra just. Yeah, she's not arguing. She'll just go to bed. 
don't know if you use a thing of attempting to meditate. <laughs> Attempt. Oh, no, no. You straight uh, pass the fuck out. Oh, yeah. I imagine I was. <laughs> yeah, you get in your meditation pose, but you feel the uh, lean, and then you put your arm out, and you're like, oh, man, this bed rolls really slow. <laughs> yeah. And you just start leaning into it, and just kind of nestle in, and just... Yes. Yeah. Yep, we good. <laughs> And kind of just, uh, kind of, I don't know, like, he's not even, like, telling anyone. He's just going to keep wa uh, watch out for the camp at the moment, too. <laughs> yes, and after seeing this debacle, looks over at Daylock, who's just not even really paying notice to what's going on, just kind of staring at the fire. Um, Sin looks at Daylock and goes... Hey man, why don't you uh, why don't you get some sleep? I'll take care of the watch tonight. And Daylock just kind of looks up at him. Of course, uh, good night, and he goes in his tent. Yeah, uh, what about Damasari? So is it just me and Sin at the moment, or? Oh no, Damasari is sitting out there as well. He's okay. just sitting, staring, watching everyone. Kyra's just kind of keeping an eye on uh, the parameter, so to speak. Um, you guys sit in silent contemplation, and eventually uh, it starts to get to that point where watch needs to happen. I'll take the first watch, Kyra just says. I'll take the second. The atmosphere is like, I'll take the third. As a low, light snoring falls over the camp. Um, in this moment of silence, you hear Daylock, Maria, and Nat just all two drunk snores and one just beep, 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 beep. Where's the boy? Um, but uh, Sin and Damon Terry's kind of like, okay, uh, see you in the morning. As Damon Terry gets in his tent and send, just stares back and goes, Yeah, just m wake me up when it's my turn. Power just kind of nods. And Kyra does his watch. Okay, give me a perception check. Okay. Okay. Um, you just kind of sit in silent contemplation, letting the day's events kind of wash over you. First hour goes by, second hour goes by, and about halfway through the third hour, um, you hear some uh, flapping of wings. Hmm. Uh, do I get a sense of how far away it is? Um, a few hundred feet and getting close. How hard would it wait until it's like within 200 feet or so? Okay. It's then 200 feet. Alright, Kyra wakes up Sin real quick. Um, Sin wakes up. Uh, what? Flapping things uh, back, it's coming close. Okay, well, wake me up when something happens. And he goes back to sleep. As you hear the wings getting closer. Kind of fires an arrow at it. <laughs> you reel back from Sin's tent and you just let loose an arrow. Mm -hmm. Um, Roll a D100. Mm, yep. Wait, how do I get to a D100? D20. Oh, yeah. D20? Right. Sure, it doesn't matter. You let loose an arrow. And you're whereas you were expecting to hear it like 
whittle through the air and you know eventually find purchase in the ground you let loose the arrow and you hear a like in the air as you hear the wings slowly stop flapping come to the ground and rest you're not quite sure what happened with the arrow but it seemed to have made contact with something with how it was you know whistling through the air and just kind of came to a halt mm -hmm. and uh car is uh, nuts in again uh, what I hit it yay and he goes back to sleep uh, and comrade's gonna how far away was it like can I do it for some check to see how far away uh, um, it didn't really fall. This sounded controlled. Okay, because like you, okay, never mind. Yeah, uh, but either way, yeah. Uh, you get the sense of where your arrow kind of stopped, and you know, given the direction, and everything. He's probably about seventy-five, a hundred feet away from the camp right now. Okay. Now I'm just gonna keep watching. First hour goes by with it around. And not too long after that, um, you get the sense that it's time to switch watches. Kyle wakes up saying, all right, now it's your... Yay. Anything yeah. happen? Nothing. I shot the thing and it landed. Is it still there? Yeah. Mm, yay. And Kara just goes to bed. Okay. Um, morning approaches. You guys, Conrad, um, mm -hmm. you begin to wake up. Kara wakes up. Okay. Uh, the first bits of morning are starting to peer through the woods to the east of you guys. Um, it's kind of blocking a lot of the light, but you're starting to get the early oranges and stuff of the rising sun. Hmm. And it is fucking cold. Conrad gets up, checks on the others. Um, Sin is a, uh, kind of asleep. Damasaris is sitting at the fire. Hmm. Anything happen, Damasaris? Uh, I mean, it flew off a few hours ago. Oof. That thing Sin said you said you heard. Yeah. Yeah, it's gone. Oh. It seemed uh, as soon as the light began to rise, you know, darkness started disappearing. It seemed to just peace out. Hmm. Oh, I know my arrow. Hitting it probably didn't do much. Made me feel better a little bit. Oh. You hit it with an arrow? Yep. Uh, I mean, it was probably standing around over there. Why don't you go check? Uh, Conrad uh, will start walking over. He's like, hey, you mind waking the others up? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, Conrad's going to go check the spot. Okay, you begin to walk over. Give me a perception check. Yep. Okay. Um, within a few moments, you, you kind of like guesstimate about where you hit it, and you do see your arrow. Hmm. Um, it is crushed. Hmm. The metal tip is completely bent. The wood, it looks like it's it's splintered and kind of bent. Um, there's no sign of blood on it, but it looks like this was crushed with an intent. So, so, like, uh, can I do, well, I'm not sure what check would it be, to see if it actually, like, pierced, or if it just, like, kind of bounced off and broke? Um, this does not look like a, the damage does not look like it was, you know, 
fractured upon impact. Okay, so it looked like it like hit, didn't do damage, and then it was destroyed. It looks like someone may have it either bounced off or they caught it and they crushed it. Gotcha. Okay. And nothing else. Nope. Okay. Yeah, Kyle, just head back to the group then. Okay. Uh, do you keep the arrow? Uh, yeah, I'll just gather it. Um, right in your inventory, one crushed arrow. Okay. One sec. Yeah. Uh, that's right here. Okay. Um, you make your way back to the camp. It's only been like a couple moments, like mm -hmm. literally a few seconds. And emissaries is uh, waking up since and is awake. Um, and he's on his way to wake up Daylock. Nat and Rhea are still past the fuck out. Kyle is going to wake up Nat. She is snoring deep. But Nat, you uh, feel some uh, disturbance in the force. What kind of disturbance? Don't sue us, Dinsey. Or Dinsey. <laughs> Dinsey. You feel what? I said don't sue us, Disney. What kind it's of Disney, Disney joke? I... Because they own Star Wars now. Never mind. I get you. <laughs> but what's the disturbance? Um, You're getting nudged. Yeah. <laughs> Get up. Do I hear that? <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. You feel like okay. utter dog shit. You do not gain the benefits of the, the long rest, and you are missing two healing surges. Okay. <laughs> ah, I feel awful. Ruria, what you put in that, in that stuff? Like, oh, he's like reeling a bit. Yeah, Conrad. She looks like dog shit. <laughs> Eat bags under her eyes, bruising around her eyes. Like, it looks bad. Can I do what would be a, a heel check to see if it's just from alcohol? Sure. Um, I mean, you don't really have much to base it off of. I mean, you've never seen someone look like this after just a one drink. Mm -hmm. Hmm. But, like, she does look injured? I mean, she doesn't look injured. Oh, okay, never mind then. It's like uh. falling on her face and eh, not much, really. And falling on her butt. Yeah. Uh, I was just kind of sighs. Did I look bad? Yeah, you need to get up. Uh, I was going to walk out of the tent, her tent, I assume, too. Yeah. She gets out slowly. Daylight Block is beginning to make his way outside of the tent. Maria is still past the fuck out. Kyle's going to wake up for real. Rhea. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. You begin to get nudged. So kind of I turn the other way <laughs> and just like snuggle in a bit more. She rolls away from you. <laughs> she gets to cuddle on the opposite end of the tent. And that starts, that goes, <laughs> helps Conrad nudges her. <laughs> If I have to get up, you have to get up too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now Nat's not dinner. You are hungover. Yep. Yeah. Just five more minutes. I like snuggles and further. If I don't get five minutes, you don't get five minutes. Uh, okay. Let's get up. And Kara just like walks out of her tent as well. Yeah. Well, I mean, no. given the size of these tents, you guys aren't like walking in and walking out. Okay, I wasn't sure exactly yet, so yeah. Yeah, they're they're like single person small tents. Gotcha, okay. Yeah. I was yeah, I, I was nudging her from the other side. 
If I'm gonna like begrudgingly just get up. Yeah, are you head pounding, the world slightly spinning. Yeah. But a few hours and you feel like you might be okay. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, do I get any of the benefits of the long rest stuff? Oh yeah, you're you're just oh. hungover. Oh, okay, that's fine then. <laughs> That's good. Be nice, you'll just walk out the turn. <laughs> just head hand in lower than what it was the day before. <laughs> um as you guys begin to break down your tents, um go ahead and mark off a ration. Okay. Um and Ruya, I need you to give me a, an endurance check. Yeah, and I'm busy. <sighs> And Joe and she said. Anybody got any extra water? Nat says. I'm out. Okay. <laughs> you are staving off the uh, effects of dehydration, but you need water soon. Yeah. She's just gonna like. She's looking at a drink and just shaking her head, thinking, "No, no, I, I need water." <laughs> Whatever the drafts gave me. Not that. <laughs> okay, Mysterious looks around and he's like, oh, I'm out too. <sighs> Daylock uh, goes through his stuff and he's like, oh, sorry, I'm also out. We should probably hoof it back or find water something she, she can clearly yeah. not think she's like very tired like, uh. oh yeah I, got, I also gotta mark off the minus two healing surge surges um damn series kind of looks at the group well i mean we're kind of close to the test so continue on yeah we should just keep going Okay. Pack up stuff and yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, actually, sure. before we go, like, okay. uh, in, uh, actually talk to Sin for a second. Sin is currently finishing up the last little bit of setting up his tent. Well, you mean give taking down his tent? Yeah. Okay. Setting it up. All right. <laughs> setting it up to carry it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, so I found the arrow I hit it with. Cool. I, I'm not even sure if you have any use for it or not. I mean, it's not really something of theirs, so probably won't have a real good connection for scrying or anything like that, so... Um, I mean, we're still pretty close to Lake Io anyways, and scrying magic is already kind of iffy, so... Yeah, probably won't have any use for it. Sorry. Yeah, kind of just tosses it out of his inventory, then. Somehow, I feel like it knew that when it touched it. Hmm. That's like, Ruria! Yeah. Ruria! <laughs> and then yeah. Conrad's like, what's up with that? <laughs> um, Conrad, as you go to toss the arrow out of your bag... Mm -hmm. That's a good arrow. Be ashamed to go to waste. Yeah, he thinks about it and just continue. Like, uh, so, is this a feeling he's getting, or is that like, like, what is it exactly? Easy? That's what you're thinking. He keeps it then. Ria, how am I looking? <laughs> that feels awful. She's, She's just double checking with Ria. Um. Yeah. You Ria's just her. not looking. At you. Yeah. No, she's not even looking up. She's just putting her, like, heads down, thumbs up. Like, yeah. Okay, yeah. so you don't look? No, I'm not looking, but I'm just putting my thumbs up. <laughs> I'm you not looking. Just, yeah, Maria just does not look at you and just puts her thumbs up. Yeah, if you think so. Then she just, <laughs> and that just walks off. Going about her business. Okay, you guys finish packing up your stuff. And you guys are ready to set up. 
Hmm. Sets out. Yep. Damus Aries sees Conrad leaving. Oh, okay, I guess we're leaving. <laughs> Come on, Damus Aries. Come on, Dayla. <laughs> yeah, Dayla is slowly, you know, walking along with you guys. But you guys begin to trek out towards the test. Um, morning turns to afternoon. Afternoon turns to late afternoon, about 4 or 5 p.m. You guys are arriving at the gates of the test. Shows on the pass. Mm -hmm. Shows the pass. Okay. You guys yeah. show all of your paperwork. And yeah, you I was gonna. Oh, sorry, I was just gonna say at this point, my hoods are they like up and shown pass? <laughs> okay. Um. But you guys uh, make your way inside of the test. Yeah, what time is it right now? It's about 4 or 5 p.m. Okay. okay. I was just kind of quiet. Says, uh, he just says squawking box. Yeah. Yes, and looks at. Yeah, I guess we don't have to report anything in. Uh, we can. I'm just not feeling. Uh, no, no. But I'll talk to Welton. You guys just go over there. Nah. I mean, you know, we weren't really doing a job for him, and it's not like there's anything new to report. Fair. Okay. And Conrad kind of just starts in the squawking box. Then I'll go to the squawking box. <laughs> nah, slowly goes to the squawking box. Uh, since, oh, like, yeah, I mean, we could tell tomorrow that. You know, Cletus is no longer with us. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, we're just gonna walk past and see if the temple is open. Okay, well, um, you guys begin to make your way from the east gate. And by the time you guys make it to the market area, um, Connor, all right, give me your perception. Since you're probably yeah. the only one paying attention at all. One second. Okay. Okay. Um, immediately you notice something. There are groups of soldiers in like groups of like four or five um, walking around with a uniform you have not seen yet. Um, going through the market, so far just by going through the market, you've probably seen a good maybe uh, 50, 60 of them. Hmm. Can, so, Carr's never seen this before, so he can't do a check on it to see if he's recognized it, right? I mean, you can do uh, a history check to see if you recognize any of the coloring, things like that. <coughs> All right, one second. No, wait. Wrong one. Uh, history check, you said? Um, they do not look for me. Yeah, I kind of would just look uh, to the group. Hey, do you, are any of you guys noticing that these guards' uniforms look different? Yeah, I was gonna say I'll look up and see if I recognize any of them, if they're from any books or anything. Okay, um, give me a history. Nat, do you look as well? Yeah. Okay. Um. Net, you do not need to roll a history check. Good, because I rolled a net one. <laughs> give me one second. I'm trying to look for something real quick. That looks even worse. <laughs> I don't think she can get any worse than she is right now. But we'll see. <laughs> Um, you, uh, immediately recognize this armor, uh, Nat. 
and the region of your homeland um, where your village is it's kind of the on the outskirts of things <clears throat> but kind of in the area that you are from the, uh, to the uh, west of you kind of in the central location around this you know vast area um, there was a single empire that basically had their hands in basically everything even your town your town really didn't have an association with them but they did trade a lot um, and they would come every once in a while to make demands you know simple demands taxes things like that but you know you've you've heard you know your your mother and other people complain about them you know the, uh, the guy name yes army of Kalroth um, from the Empire of Kalroth mostly referred to as the Empire in your region it's like what are people from the Empire doing here she's like rubbing her eyes just to make sure she's not seeing things yeah. so, what are they doing here would it be like a eh nah, I think she's too tired for for a streetwise check uh, can that like check around? Maybe see what they're if they're doing anything specific. Like uh... some of them are just looking at stores. Some of them seem to be dressed down a little bit, like they're kind of probably off duty. Hmm. Uh, I've, I've heard about these guys. They're just the worst. <laughs> at least that's what my mother told me. Yeah, sure. Okay. Seems sorry. Uh, they're. They're not bad. Yeah, they're, they're just uh, they're just you know regular government problems of people complaining about stuff like oh well no taxes. Yeah, regular government stuff. You know, like I uh, pay attention to that. <laughs> yeah, you even had a few of them stationed in your village, and they were relatively okay guys. They kind of kept to themselves since they were on rotation, but um, usually no problem. They would, they would help when needed. Um, a lot of the guards, or like some of the guards that would rotate, were people from that enlisted from, you know, either your village or nearby villages. So they keep to their cells. It, it should be fine. She's doing like that lazy hand wave gesture. <laughs> and, uh, Damon. Yes. So, question: When you said I saw all these guards of uh, Kalroth. Yes. Have I seen any guards of Latessa as of now? Uh, yeah, there's a few. Okay, so it's not like just these guards. There's guard. Yeah. Mi- okay. <laughs> In addition to. Okay, got you. But there are quite a few of them. Okay, and are any of them seem to be standing post, or are they just kind of walking around a bit? Um, some of them are kind of you know like armored up and like they seem to be patrolling. Mm. Um, some of them are talking to people. Uh, some of them are carrying um papers and showing them to people. Hmm. Okay. Uh, would it be a streetwise check to see, uh, ask, like, well, what's going on? Yes. Okay. Conrad, where are you going? Nat says. Gonna figure out what's going on over here. Okay. Um, it doesn't take long at all within, like, you kind of just walk over to a couple people and the first few don't know really they're like oh yeah they just uh, showed up uh, early today and um, apparently they're going to be here for a while and then you know someone else like I don't know who they are but you know it's good to have some more protection around these places you know one after another they all have their own opinions eventually there's an older uh, gentleman it's like oh yes uh, they were asking me and my wife earlier um, they, apparently they are looking for a fugitive of theirs. Uh, what kind of fugitive, like? Oh, it's, uh, it's a picture of a large minotaur, man. Hmm. Do they have a name for this person, or like, you know, like, that he's was spotted here or something? Oh, y- yes, um, his name was, uh, Flint, I believe, um... It's such a barbaric name. And he just uh, kind of looks at you. Uh, if there's nothing else. And he just kind of walks past you and continues on. Okay, thanks. Okay, all right. Uh, 
goes back to the group. I mean, the group that has been following you this whole time. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, I know why they're here now. Sing scratches his chin. And he starts walking away from the group and directly toward the guards. And Kyra to follow. <laughs> the rest of you guys follow? I guess. <laughs> yeah. Stay back a bit, but yeah, follow him. <laughs> okay. Um, Sin beelines it straight to the guards. And uh, one of the guards notices him approach. Uh, yes, sir. Um, and he begins like grab the paper and begin to sh uh, walk towards Sin. Good evening, sir. Could I uh, trouble you for a moment? And Sin puts up his hand. He's like, uh, uh, okay, no, that uh, you can skip your whole thing. Uh, yeah, um, I'm Sin of the Onyx Circle, and I would like to let you guys know we took care of your fugitive for you. And the guy kind of like reels back a little bit. You, you have. Uh, yep. Uh, you're looking for uh, Flint, the uh, Minotaur. Uh, yes, we are. Um, yeah, well, he was masquerading as uh, an adventurer in our group. Um, though we found out that, you know, he was trying to betray us, and, you know, we took him out before he could do so. And the guard kind of looks at him and kind of looks towards your guy, the rest of the group. Well, I, I'm sure my captain would love to hear about this. Uh, do, you, do you have a moment of time? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, Sin, you think you got this? Uh, the rest of us are on a good track. And Sin looks back with a really big smile on his face. He's like, yeah, I got this. Cards nods and like motions for the others to keep going <laughs> to the squawking box. You know, I was going to see if that's all clear. I still wanted to go. To, I was just going to head to the temple, see if it's open, okay. and then go in. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Sin begins to follow the guards towards the guardhouse. Um, the rest of you guys begin to make your way towards the squawking box as Rhea breaks off from the group and she just starts wandering. Okay. I guess. Okay. So, don't say anything. Um, Okay, so Rhea, you make your way across the test and you find yourself at the front door of the temple. Awkwardly walking behind Sin like 30 feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, you know, well, yeah. awkward. you got the Sin, right? And she follows him for like guns. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Does he like just turn around every second? Like, is she still following me? Like, <laughs> uh, he looks back once, but shrugs his shoulders and continues on. But, I mean,. You wouldn't know because you're heading towards the squawking box. Yeah, I was gonna say, is it the tip like obviously open? I can go inside and the door is it closed. And you can try pushing on the door and opening yeah. it. Yeah, push on the door then. <laughs> and the door opens. Yep. So you're just walking then. Then she's looking for obviously the Raven Queen shrine and start going back out, like back towards the shrine. Uh, Send a few. Oh, yeah. As you uh, walk in, there's uh, Raynar is there, and uh, he kind of gives you a nod as you enter the temple. I should just look up and nod back, nod back towards him and head towards him and goes there. Uh, Hello. Good evening. Uh, so, how often? Uh, well enough, I guess. Uh, have you heard from Bardim at all? I don't know if he's tried to get in contact the past few days with the whole messaging thing going down. He kind of gives a half-hearted smile. Well, um, I highly doubt Bardem will try to remain in contact with me. Um, we have a bit of a past, to say it the least. Um, I, I'm sure he's fine. Um... You know Bardem. He was, he's probably uh, sitting at home in silent contemplation. Yeah, that uh, sounds about right. But I, I'm sure he misses you. That that uh, lug tends to uh, hide every hide everything in his heart. Yeah, she's gonna like just quiet chuckle at that. 
was going to say, did I hear, like, improve any history between those two? Again, he never really talked about a yeah. relationship with his wife, so... I mean, yeah. You get the sense when they first met that they knew each other, and there was a little bit of history with how the rapport was between them. And, I mean, you know, um, Bartim had told you plenty of times that he went to, you know, the Temple of Bahama in La Teste, and that's a lot of the times when he had specialized work. It came from there, so you at least know there was some interaction. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, so I should just nod and it's like, I'll let you go back to your work. I'm going to go speak to the lady. Bit. And she'll, she's just quietly nodding and she'll head towards the Raven Queen. And again, continue doing prayers and apologies all again. Go ahead and give me a religion check. Okay. Um, you uh, sit down and you offer your prayers to the Raven Queen. Um, and you finish. Yeah. Good. Um, yeah, imagine once that's done, she'll just take a deep sigh. She's a lot calmer. She can breathe in a normal pace. Like, eyes will dry down. She's done all the crime for the day, and she'll just, if anyone's in the, like, if Raynard's still there, he'll, she'll just nod to him and then go back to the squawking box. He returns okay. the nod. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, the good. rest of you guys. Um, you guys make your way inside of the tavern. You're home for the last couple months. You have returned. Oh, Mike can go ahead and delete that token. And Garrett, uh, do something real quick as they enter. Uh, of course. As they enter, does he see any of those guards or anyone that seems like they're off doing the bar? Yes. Okay, it's just immediately. They're immediately. They're about a good twenty-five, thirty in here. All right. Uh, God, which is like a kind of whisper to the group. Hey, um, if we're gonna get drinks, uh, maybe we should just take them to our room. Damn it, Sarah just kind of raises an eyebrow at that. He's like, "But I like drinking in the bar." Oh, I can explain afterwards, Damon Sarah's. And he starts hobbling over to the um, bar. And he leans down, and uh, uh, Felton is currently at the bar. Lady Cat is not inside. Mm -hmm. um, Trey's against the wall, kind of keeping his eye on everything. And Damn Sarah walks up to the bar, and he just says, All the ale. And he puts monies on the table. Felton kind of smirks at this and kind of looks at the group. Um, Daylock just begins to go upstairs in silence. Felton just kind of looks around at everything. Okay, well, I do have news, but I don't know if now is the right time. It really isn't, Nat says. <laughs> she slowly walks up to the bar. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, let me get those drinks for you. Could you refill my water skins too, please? <laughs> that says. Uh, of, of course. Guy, I will tip him a gold and say the same thing. Okay. You guys all get your water skins re refilled. And <laughs> Damasaries gets a small keg of ale. Okay. And he throws it over his shoulder and he begins to head upstairs. I was going to say, I'll take a note at the pub here. No. That's <laughs> it. And uh, I assume Nat's going up with him, right? I mean, Nat's currently sitting at the bar. Okay. Um, but as he hit, as Felton hands over uh, the keg to uh, Damon Sarah, um, Felton kind of reaches behind the bar and pulls out a parcel and looks at both of you and says, uh, this is for your other friend. Which uh, one? The, uh, 
the uh, the Ruia. I believe. Okay. Kind of will uh, take it. And I guess we could discuss the rest another. Okay. Coward nods. And I assume like there's. Did he just take a keg, or like, do we have like cups at our room, like out of character? I mean, you'd have to go check. Um, can we get some glasses as well? Oh, do not worry. There's uh, cups are already prepared in your room. Okay, thanks. And cards are setting up. Okay. Nat, what are you doing? Nat heads up. Okay. You guys make your way to the room. Um, and Damus Ares says, um, set the keg down and doesn't even try to open it. He just punches his fist right through the top of it. Um, and he begins to just scoop out ale and start drinking in his, in his stool. And Carl's going to walk over. Right if I get some? Yeah, I got it for all of us. And Carl Wright grabs a cup of ice cream from the table and just starts uh, drinking. <laughs> Nat just busts and... out her <laughs> Nat just busts out her flask to, and gets a head start. You lay down with your arms outstretched, with the flask in your mouth, and you're just like, "God, take the wheel." Um, <laughs> <laughs> God, take the wheel. Um, no. Uh, okay, you uh, take a few swigs of your flask, Nat, and you are fucking tired. Like. Dog. Like, now Nat's horrible. getting super worse. Nat looks like incredibly worse. Terrible. Um, but Conrad, you notice a folded piece of paper on the table as you approach. Uh, Conrad looks at it. Um, it's a folded piece of paper. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, they say glowing. No. Uh, Conrad opens it. Okay. Um, in it. It is written in common. It reads as such. Hang on one second. Let me get my notes real quick. All right. I'm ready. Dear Nat and everyone else. I'm sorry. I, I, did, I was not aware we were leaving on the day that we were, but um, I had some uh, new things pop up. Um, I'm gonna be uh leaving you all for a while um i i mean one of the reasons i came to this place is you know i was trying to find information or a way to get back to the feywild and yulon came back and she's gonna try to help me with that so I'm, i don't know if this is goodbye or if i'll be back but and i hate to leave without saying goodbye but this is kind of what i came here for um, I, you know, I really do, I really am going to miss you guys, and I, I do hope I can come back, but I can't let an opportunity, opportunity like this pass me by. Um, I'm sorry for the short notice, but, um, hopefully, uh, Corella will deem to let us see each other again. Signed, Corn. And there's a, li a lizard handprint at the bottom, an ink. And Kara just puts the letter back and drinks more. <laughs> okay. What? What's wrong, Conrad? Corn's gone as well. He's gone too. <laughs> he left with uh, Yulon to try to find his way back to uh, the Feywild. She's gonna help him. Ugh! Now that's really feeling crappy. Ugh. Uh, so Kyra knows Davis, uh, Daylock's not in the room, right? Yeah, Daylock's not in the room. I guess, uh, Daylock wanted to, uh, either go with, uh, the planet band for a bit, or, I don't know, be by himself for a little moment. <sighs> He's just kind of size. Well, I'm sure he just needs a little bit of time. I think we all do. Yeah. And 
you guys sit in silent contemplation. Let me know when it gets to start about, I would say, 8 o'clock or so, Damon. By the way, in game. <laughs> okay. Kyle at the moment is just going to be drinking and probably just be quiet. I mean, that's probably in about like 30 minutes or so. Okay. Sure. Um, but you guys sit and drink in silent contemplation as Rhea, you uh, make your way into the front of the squawking box. Yeah. And immediately see a whole bunch of guards, a couple of the townspeople, and no one else. Well, Felton, Trey. Okay, yeah, she will head up to the bar. Just like. Felton, see sure. approach. Uh, good evening, Miss. Yeah. Oh, good evening. Good evening. Uh, Can I be of service? Yeah, could I just have a glass of water? <laughs> of course. And he pours you a nice glass of water. Yeah. And she'll, like, just start drinking that super fast. And it's like... Yeah, pretty like, fucking quick. Yeah, pretty super, super quick. She is really thirsty. And it's like, yeah, could I have a level one? <laughs> She's like... It'd be... As you go to ask, he's already, like, turning around with a pitcher of water. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, I had this drink, and I don't think this is to my taste. <laughs> and she was, like, holding a water skin, and then she's just gonna go back to chugging the water down. He just kind of looks at you. He has no fucking clue what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> No. Uh, as far as like he knows, you're just holding a water bottle up to him yeah. saying that. <laughs> There's yeah. something wrong with that. Yeah, no, that's the idea. She's just not giving any information. She's just drinking the water, being yeah. quiet, sitting at the bar. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to get out the information as you're guggling and gurgling down yeah. this big thing of water. And it is good, and now your tummy hurts. Yeah. Just like... <laughs> yeah, that's good. You know, she just like, just was, like, cheers, heads down, hoods all down. Again, okay. still not making any eye contact, and she'll just head up to the room. <laughs> okay. Um, you enter the room, and you see uh, Nat just kind of standing in the middle of the room like a weirdo. Um, <laughs> Conrad's sitting on the edge of a bed, and Dame Sarah's is just sitting at the table drinking. Yeah, she'll just, uh, and lean up against the wall, <laughs> just, like, holding her belly a bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Uh, actually, wait, where is she exactly in the room? Just, like, in terms of, uh, okay, now I see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm uh, backing a bit. <laughs> yeah, the name tag was, like, blocking herself. I was like, where the hell is she? <laughs> uh, and he's gonna go up to her and, uh, hand her the packet. Uh, this was for you. It was left at the bar. Oh, and yep, yeah, just still opening the package. <laughs> um, it is a solid white porcelain mask with mm. uh, a slight silver trim around the edge. Um, there, it looks to have um, some subtle, solid metal backing um, with fine cloths and leathers on the back, on the face side to. Kind of, it's very comfy, but it's also kind of set up to where, like, you know, if you knock into something, it's not going to, like, hurt as much as, you know, hitting straight porcelain. Um, and it is lovely. Um, it is solid, solid white. Um, and there is the uh, feather garnish that um, you ordered it as well. You should just. The clip, she just like a slight smile as she's seeing it. And if I may, come on, laptop. And now she'll just like go to bed, like place the box on the bed, and she'll just like inspect the mask, looking around, like trying to figure out how to put it onto her face. I think and just start wearing it. <laughs> yeah, um, you put it on, and it fits your face it's almost like a glove. She didn't measure your face or do a mold or anything crazy like that, but it is very comfy. This is good. She 
is very skilled. And she's like trying to hold back tears. <laughs> I think it's yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Quite the clock rolls around. Yeah, okay. uh, quietly, yeah, and that just keeps saying, "I'm so tired." Go to bed, Nat. And she, and then she says, "I'm, I'm so tired of the men in my life just, just leaving." <laughs> Dying or running, it's always dying or running, and she she starts to cry again and you know falls to her knees. Kara just kind of walks up to her and just kind of picks herself up, and he's gonna actually you know sit her down in the bed so she's not just like falling down like on the floor. (laughs) Yeah, I was gonna say I'll sit next to Nat and. Just like put an arm over, like giving her a hug, tap on her shoulder. <laughs> um, give me a uh, wisdom check, Nat. Come on, wisdom. Oh, wait, it's wisdom. You pass the fuck out. Yeah, as you're probably like, comforting your Nat probably just falls on, yeah. on Rhea's shoulder. Yeah, I just like gently like put on the bed, put a blanket over her. <laughs> and just continue just to pat. <laughs> and Karen's uh, just going to sit back at the table. How is he feeling, by the way, like uh, alcohol-wise? Um... I mean, you've only been drinking ale for, like, the last 45 minutes, so a little tipsy. Okay. Yeah, I was just curious. <sighs> and Conrad um, says, um, I need to talk to someone for a moment. Um, I hope you guys don't mind. Um, Take your time. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure I'll be back, but uh, I'll be back when I can. And he's going to go downstairs. And... As soon as you go to head out the front door of the room, mm-hmm. um, the door opens. Okay. And there is Sid. Oh. With a really big smile on his face. I wasn't expecting to see you till later. Well, you should be happy that I'm here. Hmm. And Kyra's actually going to step back just to let him in. <laughs> okay, well, I do got some good news, guys. I like picks away, I've been like, what good news? Um, he reaches into his uh, bag. Mm-hmm. And he pulls out a pouch, and it is looks rather large, heavy, and jingling. Mm-hmm. And he reaches in and he pulls out a stack of gold and hands it to you, Conrad. And pulls out some gold and hands it to Damus Ares. He turns around. Rhea, come here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just uh, Conrad's going to check it out for a sec. Okay. Uh, he gives you your gold, Rui, as well. And he has just given you all 834 gold. Yeah. Like, why? <laughs> just, just say why. Oh, because we're heroes. Huh. <laughs> also, I may have sold out Cletus and you know got collected his bounty. Oh. <laughs> but hey, it's your guys' blood money now. As <laughs> he walks back over to his desk. Is she just gonna like look towards seeing him like look t- and then looking back at him and he's like wait what? Uh, out of character he explained that to you actually. Yeah. Oh no I know but it's more like her reacting like why are we selling him out? Because he's dead. 
you know, she feels bad. <laughs> she doesn't, like, feels like dirty money. <laughs> I mean, let's all be honest. I mean, you weren't there for Rhea, but that fucking gold digging bitch kept asking for money. If he was alive, he would be like, yes, this is probably the good choice. Kind of just steps more I help. Can I inside the damage series to see like how he's doing with this whole after a sense just kinda of talking shit on Cletus basically? Sure. Um he smiled when Sin said that about him. So that last part and it was a genuine smile? Yeah. And he had uh, so card scene as like and he had quite the wave of ladies. He chuckles a little bit. And a reaction from Dave was Harry? Yeah, we'll chuckle. Um, you get the sense that he's being kind of calm and stoic for everyone else. Okay, so it's not like you know he's like trying to cheer himself up about it. He's like he's maintaining himself, that kind of thing. Yeah, he's. Trying to be a cornerstone right now. Kind of look at him and just kind of say, you know, damn series, you can say what you want to say. Uh, what? That he's a right bastard and, you know, his hammer will always forever be smaller than mine. <laughs> Inside real so I can see if he's like that, you know, kind of like. Smiling. Okay, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, I was just gonna joke. Did, did anyone ever actually see his hammer? <laughs> he just chuckles again. Damn, his series looks around the room, no response. Like, uh, I, mean, I didn't. Hmm. <laughs> uh, so I guess you do win the. Contestant, damn it, serious. Yeah, and look at it this way. He could never prove me wrong. Mm. <sighs> you hear that as he raises his ale towards the, the roof <laughs> and chugs it. Uh. Oh, gosh. You got to just like kind of raise the, his glass up. Uh, Cletus, you were a right bastard. I was about to quite the bullheadedness at the time. Damn Try to start to chuckle. Like <laughs> standing, like just, just deciding to stand out in the deadly rain for no reason, just about other to prove a point. Karen just like chugs his drink, just like you know, like. <laughs> Cause he did well. <laughs> the the star star. It's like this time of the year where, Rhea, you know what it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go yeah. yeah she's just like. Oh. To to explain the weather weather patterns of Latest to you, and you just kind of chuckle under your into yourself like, motherfucker, you don't even know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's like, uh. He is my lucky, lucky guy. You're like, man, uh, I can't wait till this motherfucker sees winter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, did she say that? No. Oh. Okay. No. Yeah, but like, you know, yeah, Cletus decided to prove a point that he could go outside. And we barely managed to drag him outside and drag him back inside and revive him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even know why. Like, Cameron's is like kind of like trying to process it. Like, like why the hell did he even do that? Again, he was trying to prove that he had the bigger hammer, and again, I won. Uh. And Damon Series kind of le leans in. He's like, "But don't tell him. This uh, this cloak actually protects me from the cold." And he 
continues drinking. Car nuts. <laughs> You're gonna need that. You're gonna need that. And then you guys hear over off from the corner over by Sin's desk. Remember that time that creep tried to buy a dress for Rhea? Man. It gave me nightmares. <laughs> Kyra just uh, actually uh, out of character. I don't think Kyra was there. Yeah, he wasn't there. <laughs> so no, Kyra just, like, just starts like, <laughs> like he spits up some of his alcohol. Like, wait, what? Yeah, he turns just to Rhea. Gonna... Yeah, you just you can't see her face, but if you're looking at body language, she's just stiffened up like. And if you could see her face, which you can't, she's all like blushing on the inside, like. Ah. Wait, wait, wait uh, what was yeah. this? Karen's like, you know, like perplexed. Uh, when you was out. Yeah. I he to... had to buy a dress for you. And Rhea, now that you think about it, Sin wasn't there, so. So he sh really shouldn't know about it. Yeah, how did you know about it? <laughs> She's I just like looking at him. Huh. Okay then. <laughs> he's just like. And he just looks up. over his shoulder, deadpan stares at you, and he just whispers, "Nowhere is safe." And he just looks back and continues his work. Huh. And Rhea, you're the only one who heard and saw that. Okay. <laughs> Let's say, can I do an inside check on him? <laughs> I, uh, sure. I just want to... He's like... Plot him. I know. Ah, come on, mouse. I can't tell if that went No. Uh, I think my laptop's all freaking out. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for the... Yeah. <laughs> there we okay. Go. There we go. It might come up twice. Because yep. I pressed it twice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 32. Um, you only got a quick glance at him. I mean, it's... I'm not quite sure what's going on with him. Huh. Okay. No. no. What was I saying anyway? Like, trying to shake it off, not think about it too hard. So like, he tried to buy yeah. you a dress? Yeah, I mean, we, I went to, they showed me the haberdashery sh uh, shop, and I went in to buy this mask, and he said I should buy a blue summer dress. Then might have, you know... So wait, wait, wait. Kind of had like across her face type thing. But like, also it's it's coming up on winter. Like, what? What? <laughs> Kara just like looks at you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I I didn't quite get. It. I mean, it was it was a nice fall, but probably not the right article of clothing. <laughs> I mean, it was, like, was it a nice thought or was it trying to you know? I mean. Uh, Kara just kind of looks to the other two, like, let's be real here. We know what he wanted. <laughs> Damus Harris raised his glass. He was like, he's trying to say he was trying to slay your squawking box. <laughs> Wait, are you far? <laughs> he was trying to bang you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's the squawking box. Lady Cat finally told me what it means. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty much getting the image of what they're all talking about now, aren't I? I mean, you've seen the sign of the squawking box. It's a lady yeah. who's naked, spreading <laughs> yeah. between her legs. So you can, yeah. it's not a big leap. Um... Yeah. <laughs> You're just going to see her like, stiffen up and start shaking. Like, she's not sure whether she should be laughing or like, like which, anxiety's taking over. <laughs> which you all do not notice because she is now wearing a mask. Yeah, yeah, like there's no, I don't think there's any way I can read it. Yeah, um... <laughs> oh, gosh. Howard uh. uh. just, like, kind of... He does, he does a slight chuckle and drink, just drinks a little bit more.
It's a little creepy, uh, sitting, drinking, and watching Rhea. She just has, like, this porcelain face mask on. Oh. <laughs> no, it's like, I'll get my, um, what's it, that ritual book out and start flicking through it, reading it. <laughs> you do so. Yeah. Um, silence falls over the room. You guys continue to drink. Uh, so at this point, is more time passed? Yes. Uh, Karen's actually gonna... Mm, actually, I'm trying to think. No, he's just the same with the group. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm not drinking, I'm just reading. <laughs> I was just drinking more. Okay. Eventually, you start slipping into drunk, um, and it's around like 10 p.m. ish around this point. Mm-hmm. And you're getting kind of tired. And by kind of tired, you're pretty fucking tired. Uh. Well, uh, I think I'm gonna call it night, guys. Damn, his hair is kind of. I'm such a larva, kind of yawns. Like I am right now. Ugh. <laughs> Um, and he's like, yeah, it's been a long trip. Uh, I think we could all use a rest. And since Cletus isn't here, I guess there's no reason to jump right out and do something again. So maybe give it, everyone a little bit of time to recoup, regather. Yeah. And Damon series goes and lays down on his bed. Yeah, I'm just going to read for as much as I can until I start getting tired. Then do a meditating thing for taking up the mask. Yeah, it's about the time. Yeah. I'm um, giving so you just... dehydration and stuff like that. You're pretty fucking tired. Even though you weren't drinking, you're pretty fucking tired. Yeah. Nah, she'll go to bed. She'll take up a mask and like, put it next to her pillow. I've been, like, do the whole meditating thing again. <laughs> Um, as sleep begins to find everyone, um, you guys all nestle in, having the ordeal of losing your comrade, slowly pass along with the evening. Um, you guys all get the sense that, um, Things are going to be a little different around here. Um, Cletus is gone. Corn is gone. Um, and it seems that for many of you, after meeting new friends, in the case of Ruia, and almost finding a second kind of satellite family for others within the group of the Onyx Circle, um, losing two members basically in the same day. Or it's not make you feel too great, but sleep finds you nonetheless. And that's where we're gonna end tonight's session. Okay. Okie dokie. Go ahead and stop the stream, Nat. Okay.